creepy Biden's nasty sex secret out with what female secret service agents said he forced them to do. The hypocrisy of the left is constantly on full display. Serial rapists like Bill Clinton continued to get a pass for decades despite dozens of women's tearful testimonies, but one person's claims about Trump making locker room jokes about grabbing PC is enough to get him impeached. Now female Secret Service agents are breaking their silence about the highly sick thing that creepy Joe Biden used to force them to do when assigned to his personal security detail, and the raunchy details are sending liberals into a complete panic. Creepy Joe has been caught on camera for years sexually harassing young women and girls. But the true extent of Creepy Joe's sexual appetite wasn't fully known to the American public until last week, after several Secret Service agents shared their first-hand accounts of how they constantly had to protect their girlfriends and wives from Creepy Joe who was always on the prowl for fresh meat to grope. Zero. Shares. Facebook. Twitter. The hypocrisy of the left is constantly on full display. Serial rapists like Bill Clinton continued to get a pass for decades despite dozens of women's tearful testimonies, but one person's claims about Trump making locker room jokes about grabbing PC is enough to get him impeached. Now female Secret Service agents are breaking their silence about the highly sick thing that creepy Joe Biden used to force them to do when assigned to his personal security detail and the raunchy details are sending liberals into a complete panic. Creepy Joe has been caught on camera for years sexually harassing young women and girls. But the true extent of Creepy Joe's sexual appetite wasn't fully known to the American public until last week, after several Secret Service agents shared their first-hand accounts of how they constantly had to protect their girlfriends and wives from Creepy Joe who was always on the prowl for fresh meat to grope. Speaking on the condition of anonymity, one agent asserted that, we had to cancel the VP Christmas get-together at the vice president's house because Biden would grope all of our wives and girlfriends' asses. These agents claim that Biden was a Weinstein-level abuser, much to the grief of the liberal media, including the New York Times, who last week demanded that Twitter remove and censor all content of Biden grabbing girls and women. If that wasn't enough grief to last the Democratic Party a lifetime, now female Secret Service agents are dropping a bombshell on Creepy Joe, and their stories about what Obama's former right-hand man used to force them to do is beyond demented. In a new tell-all book about Biden, these female agents reveal how grabby hands Joe would force them to watch him strip down naked, making them all feel extremely uncomfortable. From Daily Wire in a 2014 book titled The First Family Detail by best-selling author Robert Kessler, the allegation is made that Biden offends female Secret Service agents by getting naked in front of them. Agents say that, whether at the vice president's residence or at his home in Delaware, Biden has a habit of swimming in his pool nude, Mr. Kessler writes, according to the Daily Mail. Female Secret Service agents find that offensive. John Gabriel who is the editor-in-chief of Ricochet, appeared to substantiate the claims made by the female Secret Service agents over Twitter recently. Gabriel also suggested that Biden's behavior was not just limited to the swimming pool but that he walked around his house like that. This photoshopped picture below gives you an idea of what these female agents might have encountered while guarding Biden's life. More, via Daily Mail. The naked swimming and the last-minute changes of schedule mean that being assigned to Mr. Biden is seen as the second-worst assignment in the Secret Service, Mr. Kessler writes. The worst says the book is working for former First Lady and ex-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Mr. Kessler, the author of 19 books, has been accused by Democrats of writing anti-Clinton and anti-Kennedy stories by using anonymous sources who by their very nature are hard to verify. These claims to hand in hand with the testimonies of Biden's male Secret Service agents, who spoke on the condition of anonymity to Infowars last week about what they endured at the hands of Creepy Joe. We had to cancel the VP Christmas get together at the vice president's house because Biden would grow all of our wives and girlfriends' asses. The annual party was for agents and Navy personnel who were tasked with protecting the Biden family. He would mess with every single woman or teen. It was horrible, the agent said. According to the source, 
a Secret Service agent once got suspended for a week in 2009 for shoving Biden after he cupped his friend's breast while the couple was taking a photo with him. The situation got so heated, the source told Cassandra Fairbanks, that others had to step in to prevent the agent from hitting the then vice president. Additionally, the agent claims that Biden would walk around the VP residence naked at night. I mean, stark naked. Weinstein level stuff, he added. He said that the men on duty would frequently stand in front of female agents and Navy women that were present like a damn guardian. On some occasions, they would make up reasons to get the women away from where he was. The agent said he was specifically concerned about women in the Navy. They weren't allowed to disobey him at all, but we'd take them away under pretend auspices, the agent stated. Unfortunately, Biden's sexual appetite isn't limited to just women, as Attorney General Jeff Sessions even had to swat Creepy Joe's hand away as Biden approached his young granddaughter at the White House. Before liberals want to get on their soapbox and point the finger about Republicans, it's time for them to take a closer look at the serial rapists and gropers within their own freaking party. Until Bill Clinton, Joe Biden and all their other little creeps are held accountable, liberals seriously need to STFU because their hypocrisy is truly nauseating, nauseating.